Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday the 16th of June. So looking at the euro dollar first and well we put in on a daily basis a pivot swing. It's a, a bearish uh, uh, candle uh, stick patterns. They, they work quite well at times. So it's a bullish one was down here. You see it has a large movement. Okay there was a bit of a bearish one with not a lot of follow through in that particular case but um, I'm, I'm just looking at this as a a bit of a guide and it really follows follows through we had a spike breaking into the new highs there didn't hold on didn't hold up um it sold straight into that and then since then we've seen a, a sell-off and um it's obviously looking like that monthly um, pivot is quite easily obtainable uh, achievable at some point now coming down the time frames and four alleys here well it's consolidating where it's sitting at the moment and there is a chance that uh, it could push up towards that daily pivot at least uh, it will be interesting looking how it reacts around the area for potential short side back to the um, monthly pivot and maybe beyond uh, as I said that's a as a target not an absolute target though it's a, it's a, it may give direction as much as anything else and it's got a good probability of being hit so looking for that um, untouched uh, daily pivot at the moment so uh, see how we go at the moment it's sort of got this big expansion sort of candle and it's a pivot swing on the sort of hourly basis so we would expect maybe a bit of follow through uh, from that anyway but uh, yeah, so it's uh, consolidated pretty much through the Asian session. Potential to push on, push on up, catch that daily pivot. Missed it yesterday, um, so good, good chance today. And then um, we've got the, uh, the uh, at least the monthly pivot, maybe more um, on the downside, it's depending on how it reacts today. I mean, if it pushes on, starts pushing on through, we start seeing a bit of rally. Uh, we just got to stand aside and let that rally happen and look for a. a perhaps a, a move back to the 50 uh, alley 50 or something um, okay uh, that's uh, pretty much that but at the moment uh, as I said my my preference is to the downside there um, with cable it's uh, pound dollar that is sorry um, the pound dollars held up I mean yesterday um, it uh, sold off on the uh, news in the morning and then rallied back in the news in the afternoon and if anything, it's well, it's a bit of indecision. Um, you would expect with the Euro uh, Brexit meetings to come up, and etc., it'd be a lot more indecisive and possibly see more selling off. But it's holding on quite well. There's a belief that maybe it's a soft Brexit. We saw that coming through an earlier part of the week, but uh, well, we'll see what happens. For now, though, it's uh, well, it's possibly putting a higher low in here with this move yesterday it uh, as i said sold off in the morning and uh, by midday it was it's pushing back up and beyond um, it, at the moment it's it's got the potential maybe um, on that pattern to follow follow through to the upside um, it has on uh, underneath they've got the uh, daily pivot which uh, may scupper that plan and uh, see us come just just trading back within the sort of range that we've seen over the last couple of days um, there's no reason why it might not ju just pull back into that uh, uh, daily pivot maybe run through to 100 or even more so it's um, very a very unsettled currency no clear direction from what we're looking at in this time frame that's for sure or even any other time frame in real terms, uh, marginally erring towards the downside still with the lower highs on the dailies. So there's maybe a, a hint of that, but uh, uh, volatility and um, chop running through each day. Now, uh, dollar yen, well, it looks like it's going to push back up and actually catch that daily pivot at some point. We've been talking about it for a while yesterday, uh, sorry, on uh, Wednesday. Uh, we saw a, a, a retest of the lows there. It's, it's, it's pushed up again since then. Pivot swinging yesterday, it's put in, and now it's it's looking, as I said, potentially for that monthly pivot. Uh, just looking there, clear upside. There's been uh, the Bank of uh, Japan uh, members have been uh, meeting and speaking, and the state rate's been left untouched, etc. Um, we do have. Uh, the daily pivot underneath, which uh, could always see, uh, could always be a draw. Uh, we're almost uh, up to the old one though, so it's, uh, it's 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 a tight one there. If we do see some uh, dollar weakness, well, maybe 
it will be a trade back towards that uh, if it breaks breaks this sort of trend uh, it's running up there may, maybe it could be a, a, a trade back towards that daily pivot okay Aussie dollar so yesterday uh, shooting star coming in failing to make a new high yesterday so some, some signs of potential weakness here really is a bit more confirmed if it breaks these lows here I'd be looking if it starts breaking out to me that's a, a bit more uh, certainly a weaker weaker sign uh, on the short term I mean on that basis you, you, you could either just uh, pick yesterday's lows I mean it was almost a, a double bottom of that uh, low yesterday from the previous low uh, there it came down to um, yesterday evening uh, or afternoon rather um, looks at the moment like it could be testing and, and, and running down towards that at some point and, and it may just uh, confirm this sort of uh, lower high etc and run back down towards the uh, daily S1 even monthly S1 there okay that's uh, Aussie dollar and finally the Canadian dollar Canadian dollar I think we are in for a turn here I mean talking about it yesterday in our train room and in the morning there's there's quite a few factors that may just give it the opportunity to turn up uh, a little bit more um, just run to the underside of the weekly pivot, s3 pivot there and uh, reacted yesterday uh, but if we start seeing it curl around a little bit this morning well there's there's some potential upside um, just below the daily pivot at the moment I'd rather if I was looking alongside be uh, seeing price back above that um, and maybe uh, th th there's a short term sort of target at yesterday's highs the daily R1 the, the pivots are particularly pinched the range yesterday was pretty tight and it's the sort of the sort of thing that goes with a possible change of trend we've sort of uh, had higher lows put in a couple of times here and higher highs so to me it's erring on that side as I said personally I prefer to see the price above the uh, daily pivot uh, for the long side otherwise at the moment it could be uh, just tricking trick tracking back to that sort of range it sat uh, uh, through yesterday morning okay that's pretty much it for me uh, news wise today there's not a lot coming out we've already had the Bank of Japan data um, there's the euro uh, final CPI at 10 o'clock not normally much of a mover because all the individual data has already been released there are a series of um, uh, European uh, Council financial meetings that will be going on uh, today so we may get some comments that we will we'll st start moving the markets uh, on that we've got uh, um, currently all 28 member states uh, can can be there so um, it'll be interesting we may get some comments on Brexit etc oh, at the moment it's just looking like they're just waiting to start the Brexit talks but uh, you never know you may get some stances on that which may uh, come through and later in the afternoon then very little data uh, building permits in the US on a very quiet uh, afternoon may create a bit of volatility but hasn't done anything real significance for a long time um, uh, Kaplan speaking at 5.45 if anyone's really trading after the, the uh, London markets uh, finished um, well there, there is uh, he is speaking he can and does often uh, create a bit of volatility around the market okay that's it for me have a great day bye for now mm -hmm.